Welcome back to another Pokemon Falling Friday, your one-stop shop for all your Pokemon information. We go through last week's sales of sealed Pokemon products and Pokemon cards that are currently going down in price. And we do also cover any big Pokemon news like cards or sets that get revealed. And if I do see any good deals, I'll always try to build them in here too. And we do have to get thanks to our video sponsor real quick, and that is Shiny. This is a new app. It's free and there are no ads. If you guys are interested in keeping track of your current collection, this is a perfect app for you. Especially if you collect a lot of Japanese Pokemon cards, maybe Magic the Gathering, Lorcana, One Piece. But it's so easy to just search up a box or card and add it to your current collection. And then you can keep everything super organized because you can have a bunch of different groups. Definitely check them out. The links are in the description. And of course, I was just about to post my volume Friday and head to bed. But we got some brand new card reveals. So it says all 187 main cards have been revealed for Terrestrial Festival. Then it also says, since this is Japan's annual high class pack set, most cards are reprints from the last year. This helps to ensure cards are available to Japanese players. Each pack will contain 10 cards instead of the usual five, including a guaranteed Pokemon EX. There are only a small selection of brand new cards, such as the Evolutions. But let's take a little peek at these brand new cards. We got two new trainers and the pictures are all zoomed out. But let me know down below your guys' favorite special illustration here from this lot. I mean, the art is honestly pretty crazy. So we're getting a bunch of, you know, the Gen 9 Pokemon, which I had a feeling the set was going to be pretty heavy Gen 9. We're getting a lot of these variants or whatever, but pretty crazy art. I am in love with this Roaring Moon here. I think the art is top tier. Probably my favorite of this lot, to be honest. And we do have Raging Bolt, too. Let's see here. The Iron Valiant also pops. The colors on this Iron Hands, too, are really, really nice. And then we did get a special illustration for a trainer. I think his name's Kieran. I'm not a trainer fan, but it's a pretty nice picture, to be honest. Very, very nice scene. So yeah, I just had to come down here, record this, and throw this in here. So yeah, like I said, please let me know your guys' favorite one. We still have a lot of special illustration rares to go. But yeah, I'm just so curious on the rest of these cards. I cannot wait to see the entire set. But all right, let's hop to some more news here. Black Bolt and White Flare sets now confirmed to release in June, hinting at black and white game remakes. But we kind of already knew this. We first discovered the set's trademark in September and speculated they would release in June based on the timing of the past trademark reveals. But the new info we actually got is the dual sets will feature cards of all 156 Innova Pokemon. As previously speculated, the sets will be headlined by Reshiram and Zekrom. The deck boxes and card seats will feature them as well. Both sets will be enhanced expansion packs, sets like Pokemon Card 151. They will have Mirror Hollow Foils, which we call Reverse Hollows in English. It's currently unclear if these sets will be in the same vein as 151, but for Generation 5. But that's kind of what it's sounding like. It sounds like we're going to get a Gen 5 remake, which would be absolutely sweet. Gen 5 is a very, very solid generation. It's a lot of people's favorites. All right, let's hop to the Pokemon Center. Big news. So Twilight Masquerade Pokemon Center ETB sold out. Then two days later, Brilliant Stars, Pokemon Center ETB sold out. And then in that same day, Stellar Crown also sold out. I actually made a video about the Stellar Crown and Twilight Masquerade when, you know, Stellar Crown was in stock. I just ordered a Pokemon Center ETB case a few days ago, finally. The Noctowl is almost $40 a card. Now for the Pokemon Center ETBs that are left in stock, all we have is Pokemon Go, Shroud of Fable, and Astral Radiance. In my opinion, these probably will sell out sooner than later. And... You know, we just had a bunch of Sword and Shield Pokemon Center ETBs on my Market Monday. You know, Fusion Strike, Silver Tempest, Lost Origin, they're all going up. Now, I was going to order a Shroud of Fable. I really thought about it. The collector in me wants it, you know, to just get all the sets. But I do not have all of the Scarlet and Violet Era Pokemon Center ETB cases. I'll probably never get them. You know, 151 is crazy. Obsidian Flames is crazy. You know, I'm going to try to get a few more. You know, Paradox Rift is still cheap. I'm going to try to get those. I'm probably going to try to get a Scarlet and Violet base set one before those go too crazy. But I'll probably never be able to get all of the Scarlet and Violet sets in Pokemon Center ETB cases. So I'm just going to skip this one and just save my money for Blooming Waters 151 or for when Prismatic Evolutions comes out because I got a ton of pre-orders we still got to pay for. So, all right, next we are on IGN. We got some Pokemon deals at Target. It's going to be 30% off. So... The thing that caught my eye here was the Tropagos EX Ultra Premium Collection for $83.99 at Target. Now, that's not a terrible price. I almost want to get one for that. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of these UPCs, so I might grab one of those, but I have a feeling this box might even get a little cheaper on the secondary market, but you never know, especially with this market. They got the Charizard box for $55. Bucks. 
Stellar Crown regular ETB for $34. They got the Paldea Friends Mini Tin 5-pack for $34.99. They got the Paldea Adventure Chest for $15.74. There's a solid promo in there. That's not a bad box. I think a lot of people are sleeping on that box. They're everywhere, but for $15, that's not bad. All right, and then we're going to hop to GameStop here. So we still have that Blooming Waters. It says, coming soon. So, you know, I'll try to let everybody know. If you guys find out, please let me know. I would just like to get a few of these. And no, I'm not going to go super crazy. You guys know I don't like the big collection boxes anyways. They take up so much space. They get damaged so easily. But, you know, we're getting a ton of 151 packs here. So this would be a good box to actually break down to in the future. But all right, let's hop into Falling Friday here. So we got Twilight Masquerade Booster Box. Got up to $167. Now that sold 156, 154, 156, 154, 152. Bunch of 156s. Next, we got Paldea Evolved. So two of the most expensive Scarlet and Valid Era booster boxes are coming down in price. Was 145. Last sold 131, 131, 133, 129, 126. So it's definitely getting down there a little bit. Solid set. Next, we got the Tarapagos EX Special Illustration Rare still falling. It was 151 on release, just super slowly too. 76, 75, 75, 80, 78, 82, 82, 77. Next, we got the Squirtle, got up to $52, crazy. Now last sold 43, 42, 40, 45, 45, 36. And that was literally November 16th. All right, next we got the Bulbasaur, got up to $44. Now that sold 39, 37, 49, 38, 34, 31. Next, we got the Lacey Special Illustration Rare from Stellar Crown. Was $125 on pre-release. Now last sold 29, 27, 26, 28, 34, 30. This is crazy. Pre-release prices are nuts. Even with the Pikachu, we're going to be checking the Pikachu today and you guys are going to be shocked at these prices. Next, we got the Greninja EX, just coming down a little bit, got up to 330 on November 17th. Now last sold 318, 317, 315, 318, 310, 310, any other cheaper ones in the 200s, 305. All right, next we got the Blastoise EX, pretty much the only 151 card that's still coming down in price. The others have just leveled out. So on October 15th, it was $78, now last sold 63 74, 70, 63, 62, 60, 73, 66. Seen one the other day at the card shop for $60. Next, we got the Charizard EX from Obsidian Flames. Was $56, now last sold 52, 52, 49, 49, 42 on the 28th, 46. All right, next, we got the Skarmory from Surging Sparks. Was $26 on pre-release and it's still fallen. Last sold 868, 868, 869, $10, 8, 9, 13. I definitely feel like this is one of the best cards in the set, you know, especially in the illustration rares. I love Skarmory, but I know a lot of people that just do not care about Skarmory at all. So I kind of had a feeling this was going to happen with this card, but it is beautiful. Next, we got the Artulodon EX special illustration rare. Was $35 on pre release. Now last sold 24, 22, 22, 22, 18, 19. Next, we got the Latios Illustration Rare. 50 bucks on pre-release. Now last sold 34, 33, 34. We got a $67 sale down there. Next, we got the Alolan Executor Special Illustration Rare. It was $93 on pre-release. Now last sold 50, 49, 49, 53, 46. So right around a $50 card. I feel like that's an okay price for that card. I wish it was a little more, but still, that is not too bad. Hopefully it sticks around there. Next, we got the Lysia's Appeal. Was 160 on pre-release. Last sold 60, 68, 63, 61, 60, 60. Solid card. I do like the Altaria's in there, but it's not my favorite special illustration rare trainer with the Pokemon in it by far. Like I would take any single special illustration rare from Paradox Rift with those Pokemon in there, than this card right here. But then again, I care more about the art and the Pokemon than the actual trainer. I don't really care who's in the card for the trainer. I'm not the biggest trainer fan, so. Next, we got the Hydreigon EX. It was $120, leveling out. 73, 72, 78, 72, 70, 
65, 67. Finally seeing this card in person in English, it pops. It really, really does. Next, we got the Pikachu. So, you know, Milotic and Latias are not on this list for raw cards because they're technically going up in price. But Pikachu is definitely coming down. Was $583. Last sold $450, $494, $450. 430, 430, 420, 420, 380, 380. Someone messaged me on Instagram, offered me one for $400. That's when I knew it's like, okay, you know, 400 bucks. We're getting down there. It'll probably be in the threes here real soon. And there's a decent amount of sales. Like the market is going to get flooded with this card real quick. All right. We are hopping to PSA 10 prices. We got the Archuladon here in a PSA 10. Only sold for $64 plus $6 in shipping. 70 bucks. That's crazy. Next, we got the Lysia's Appeal here. Special Illustration Rare sold for $263. And before that, it was $338. These are like the only two sales we got for this card in the 10. Next, we got the Latios Illustration Rare. One sold for $250 on the 22nd. And then on the 28th, one sold for $356. Best offer accepted. So probably 300 bucks or something next we got the alolan executor last sold 260 dollars and then before that it was 265 in a 10 not a bad price for that card like that's a good amount of value for that thing next we got the magneton pc promo this sold for like 700 dollars right away now last sold 390 355 360 still a crazy amount of value for a card that is guaranteed in a box yes i know the 10 isn't guaranteed but you know, you have a decent chance. But yeah, 350 bucks for that card. Next, we got the Hydreigon. Finally got a few sales here. $375. And we got another sale at $355. Not too bad. Then we got the Milotic here. We got a sale at $600, $570, and $510. So on the 21st, it was $510. The 26th, $570. And now the 26th again, $600. And this card's going up raw right now. So I have a feeling this one might go up a little more. I had a feeling the Milotic, the Latias are just going to go crazy. Because if you really think about it, they're two very, very popular Pokemon. They don't have any crowns. You know, some people don't even like those new borders. Like there's nothing really you can really hate on for those two cards. Plus they both connect to their illustration rares. So I really feel like those cards are just top tier. And that's why I liked Surging Spark so much is because it has one of the best varieties for special illustration rares. You know, it's got a Pikachu for Pikachu fans. It's got cards with crowns. It has cards with no crowns. You know, like it has a decent variety for sure. All right, next, the gold Pikachu. Holding decent value in this 10. Like it's crazy. Even raw. Wasn't on the list. It's not coming down in price. It's at like 105 bucks raw. So last sold, 950 best offer accepted. Otherwise, 892, 810. We got 950 before that, best offer accepted, 900. And that was that 1,250 sale that we got for the first sale for that card. But yeah, holding pretty strong. I was honestly shocked. I definitely do think it's going to come down. I feel like it just might take a little bit longer. You know, maybe wait till Prismatic Evolutions comes out or something like that. But yeah, crazy value for that gold card. Next, we got the Latias here. It fell down pretty hard in a PSA 10. You know, that first sale was $2,000. Then we got a sale for $1,550. Then we got a sale for $999. Now, $1,000 for this card is still crazy. You know, it's from a new seller too. But a lot of people are new sellers right now because they're just pulling these cards and, you know, want to sell them right away. But yeah, 1000 bucks for that card compared to the person who paid two grand for that card. But I swear... This card has like the least amount of listings of all the special illustrationers. I have checked three different times now, and every time this card has the least amount of listings out of like every special illustrationer from Surging Sparks. So yeah, it's a crazy card. All right, and then last on the list for Surging Sparks, we got the Pikachu here, $1,250 sale, again from a new seller, but that is a crazy price from Canada. Before that, it was 1,877, and then 1,550, 1,675, 1,999. Like, that is such a crazy drop off. We got a 1,300 right there. We got a $10,000 sale right here on the 27th. What? When did that happen? 
That is crazy. So obviously someone is trying to manipulate this Pikachu again. I'm guessing they bought a bunch of the ones on release and they're trying to get this card to go up. It's just crazy that people can do this. I guarantee this card did not get paid for. But yeah, the cheapest sale so far, $1,250. Pretty crazy compared to, let's go to the highest price here. I want to say $3,400, $3,100. And I think this $3,100 one, or the $3,400 was for sure paid for. I'm not sure about the $3,100. I didn't really do the research on that. But quite a few sales at $3,000. And now, you know, it's a $1,200 card. But all right, that was today's Pokemon Flying Friday. If you guys do see anything moving up or down in the market, please let me know. It helps out so much. And then too, if you guys want to know when it comes back in stock, like Pokemon Center ETBs or 151, definitely follow my Instagram or you can join my YouTube membership. It's only 99 cents a month. And then too, if you guys like this content, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a like and comment. But all right, I want you guys to have a great holiday break. Please stay safe out there and have some fun. And if you guys want to watch my last Pokemon Throwback Thursday, Click this video here. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.